Okay guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this wall cobra punching bag using the Cureless Pro Spring. Stick around to the end guys where I'll talk about a simplified version of this that you can make for under 20 bucks. Now let's do this! <laughs> now to make the base for this thing, you're going to need these. These are double end suction cups. They're used for carrying glass panels and they're sold in most hardware stores. But I'll put a link in the description where you can get one of these, or three of them, for about 10 bucks each. Now the core of the base is this shape, which I've cut out from an MDF board. So you need about two foot by two foot MDF board and then you need to cut out this shape using a jigsaw. Now the shape itself, I'm providing that on a PDF that you can download. The link is in the description. What you'll get is a PDF that has these shapes on it. And you just cut them out and stick them together to form that shape. Then you put it on your MDF board, trace it around with a pencil, and then use a jigsaw to cut it out. Next, you bolt your flange to the center of this cutout MDF piece of wood. Now make sure you use bolts, not screws. Screws are simply not gonna hold. Once you've got your flange attached, you need to attach all of these, the three of them, on the ends. And the way to do that is basically you put it on the end and then you're gonna need these saddle collars. Now these are used for one inch pipe. So the, in the plumbing section, it's one and a half inches diameter on the inside there and they fit perfectly on there. Well, not quite perfectly, they're actually a little bit loose. So what we need to do is we need to wrap duct tape around the handle to lose some of that looseness so it's nice and tight. All right guys, here it is. All the suction cups are attached to this shape on the ends. I've used tiny little screws. They go about three quarter of the way through the MDF board. This is half an inch MDF board. And that's ready to go up onto the wall and for me to show you how to set up the bag with the uh, Cureless Pro Spring. But before I do that, I wanna show you what it's like on the floor, on a tiled floor, to use with the standard Cureless Pro Cobra bag, the upright Cobra bag. Now, I'm lucky enough to have a tiled floor in my studio, so I can set this up. But if your house is carpeted, you may have tiles in your kitchen or your bathroom. Now, this is real easy to set up. All you do is find a space and plug, plug it in. Now that is rock solid, that's not going anywhere. You can see that the tile spaces actually go between these suction cups. So the suction cups are spaced out far enough from each other so you can have these spaces in between so you can position it on your tiles so that every single suction cup is engaged. All right guys, I've got the Culus Pro Spring Cobra bag here, and I'm just going to screw that into this base. Now that is solid. So now that's ready to go. Now, guys, I've already showed you how to make this thing. This is the Culus Pro Spring, and I've showed you a video how to make the top section. The principle for the wall Cobra bag is pretty much the same. This top section, but instead of a really long three quarter inch pipe, we're just gonna use a short pipe to put it up on the wall with this base. Now to be able to attach this thing to a wall, you need a wall that's got a nice smooth finish. And what I've done is I've actually taken a panel of uh, chip wood that's got a nice finish on one side and I've screwed it onto this wall. So now I can use this for all sorts of stuff, equipment that I can attach with suction cups. So let's whack it on. pretty secure. As you can see guys, I'm using a short three quarter inch pipe here that'll allow me to mount my Pro Spring. So the Pro Spring with the bag just goes on there and I lock it in place with the hose clamp. And that's it guys, that's ready to rock and roll.
Man, you could do so much with this. I'm not really a pro boxer, but some of you guys may be able to put this into good use and show me on Instagram. I wanna see you guys working out with something like that. Now, for some of you, you don't wanna go the whole hog. You don't wanna make all this stuff, buy all this equipment, buy all this stuff. I'm gonna show you a very simple version of this that you can make for under 20 bucks. That's next week. How about a ceiling cobra?